Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to say, uh, this is me and Emma's first episode recording separate from each other. Um, it wasn't that bad, so obviously I'm still posting it, but, um, there were definitely, like, settings we could use and stuff like that. Like, it had too much noise cancellation, and we had good mics, and so, um, anytime we laugh, it thought it was background noise, and it did not show up in the audio. So, like, if there's ever a weird silence in this episode, uh, that's what it is. Um, I will have that fixed next time. I already know how to fix it. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry about some of the clippy audio. Um, I'll do my best to fix it. But yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy the episode and that it's not, like, awful. So, yeah. <laughs> None of it works. That's my biggest fear right now. Okay. We have one listener then. Hi, welcome back to me talking about my version of the Marauders in podcast form with Emma. And also, this is so weird. And Craig. <laughs> and Craig. Craig isn't on my screen right now. I cut him out of the recording. Oh. But uh, in order to record, we're on Discord and we're using a bot called Craig. And so Craig is listening to every word we say. Um, and hopefully, if if anything gets messed up, we can blame Craig. You know? That's so rude. After all he's done. <laughs> um, all right. So, Emma, how's college? Um, well, I haven't been to any classes so far, but it's a lot of walking. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like nobody t- warned me about that. Nobody was yeah. like, hey, you're going to just walk everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> not very fun but so far so good I feel like I'm scaring everybody with my TikToks constantly because I'm like (laughs) posting just like that I hate college but I'm only posting my frustrations I'm not posting like the good parts you know and so it's been good you know it's been pretty fun but yeah me and Emma have just so far just had like orientation and stuff like that we will have our first classes in like two days um which is so stressful so this episode I don't yeah that's the other thing this episode I don't I don't know what (laughs) how good it's gonna go we don't know if this is gonna work at all I don't know how it's gonna be to edit this and so I didn't make the episode super long because (laughs) because who knows um yeah but I do want to share this one story that happened to me today because I was still wondering how the heck I was gonna tell my roommates about doing this and then guess what happened somebody one of you one of you listeners um her name is julie she goes to my school julie and i know julie wait no it was julie story oh wait no her name was julia my bad not julie okay. i was writing about julie today but yes julia is here with me um, and so I saw her in the dining hall today and she was like, yo, what's up? And my roommate was like, what was that about? And so I, I had an opportunity to tell her. Um, and what did like, you say though? I told her pretty much everything. I was like, I have a podcast. This is what it's about. Um, and she was super chill. So yeah, very fun. Um, is it but Lily? That actually... No, it is not. Um, so Lily is actually... I don't want to give away too much about the real life Lily, but she's been very, very busy, like constantly doing stuff. So she's actually not even here right now. And one of my other roommates um, went back home for this weekend. And so it's just me and this one girl, Claire, who, who um, learned about it today. So been pretty (laughs) fun. Um, But yeah, anybody, anybody recognize you, Emma? No. (laughs) Dang it. Okay. Kristen. Kristen's Kristen. sister. Oh, Kristen's sister. That is so true. Um, but yeah, we love Kristen. We love that Kristen's just here listening to an episode live. We love it. Um, she got the yeah. whole behind the scenes hour of oh, trial yeah. error. Oh my gosh, literally. We were like, let's start recording at 3. And it is now 4.20. 
Oh, 420. We're uh, so bad at this. We are so bad at this. We've literally been doing this for three seasons and we haven't gotten any better. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway. Um, yeah, so should we just jump into it? Because I don't want to yeah. do this too long because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even I just certainly didn't ask questions. Cause we should walk on in because of all the walking. Oh my gosh, we should walk on into this episode for real fees. Um alrighty. We ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's walk on in. So last episode, do we remember what happened? I remember it being sad. And yeah, I tried to forget everything. Fair enough. But did you forget Thomas? Because we can't. No. I liked Thomas. Thomas. I know I like. He was one of the too. least sad parts. I know he really, he really was. Um. So yeah, just I preface this: this episode goes through goes through like a whole month. So I think we ended last episode a month after her parents died, and so now we're gonna. It's we're we're skipping through some parts. We're skimming, you know. Um. But anyway, Thomas is a G. We love Thomas. Um. So he is besties with Lily, but like. Not really with the rest of the gang. He's he's not like, yo, I'm a marauder now, you know? He's not about that life. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So he's friends with Lily, not the rest of the gang. Um, but it's not that he doesn't like them. He just doesn't have any interest in them. He's like, I'm not, I'm not about that life, you know? It's like, they all have parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. He's like, they all have <laughs> Um, but no, but, so everybody kind of gets that. They're just like, oh yeah, that's just Lily's friend, Thomas. Person who doesn't guess that, who doesn't get that, can you guess who it is? James. Yeah, it's James. Um, <laughs> so James is not really into this whole, he's only friends with Lily and not with everybody else. Um, and so that's a little interesting. Um, and so one night, like- James likes Lily or because James wants everyone to like him? A little bit of both, I think. Um, for sure both. But yeah, one night, um, they're all just kind of hanging out in the boys' dorm, and James is like, okay, does anybody else, like, not get the best vibes from Thomas? And literally everybody else is like, no, he's literally incredible. Like, we love him. He's so chill. Um, and they're like, what are you talking about? And James is like, oh, yeah, he seems, like, super nice and, like, respectful and gets along with us, with Lily, really, really well. But, like, he doesn't hang out with us. And they're like... There's James gets that. bad vibes from everyone who doesn't hang out with him. <laughs> literally. Um, but yeah, Remus is like, yeah, he's literally like nothing like us. Um, he has no interest in us. And like, that's, you know, that's that. And James is like, yeah, what's up with that? Like, why doesn't he want to be that? <laughs> um, and Sirius is like, James, he's Lily's friend. He's not our friend. And James is like, yeah, but like, Lily's our friend, so... What do you mean? James is James not really not have other friends. No. James. He doesn't have James doesn't have friends that aren't also friends with Remus Sirius and Peter. Like that's just not how they how they vibe. You know? Um yeah, so he's he's kind of a little bit weirded out by this. Um but then later Sirius like pulls James aside and is like, dude, you cannot get jealous of Thomas. And James is like, what? And Sirius is like, I guarantee that's it. That's why you don't like him. You're subconsciously jealous and you've had this whole summer being with Lily and like everything was going great. Um, but she's gone through a lot, like a lot in the past little, little while. Um, and she just needs someone who understands. And so like, we don't, Thomas does, especially you. You do not understand everything that's going on. Um, so don't be jealous of Thomas. And James is like, Okay. <laughs> oh, James. Um, but he's like, you know what? Sirius has got a point. He's like, I think I'm just a little bit jealous of Thomas, which is weird because like, James doesn't like get jealous of of people, especially like guys, you know? Because he's like, you know, the most athletic and the most he's so like, cool. He he's plays so Quidditch. Cool. He plays with the snitch in his spare time, so you know he's got to be cool. Um, but yeah, 
Mans was not too happy about this. Um, but it's just like Thomas is just so overwhelmingly nice to everybody. He's like, I mean, he's got some flaws. He's not like an A plus student. He's like human. Like Yeah, he's not like a he's I'm not like I don't like... True. <laughs> Is a werewolf babe. I'm not trying to make Thomas out to be like this incredibly perfect person, you know, because he's not. He's just like a dude. He's just really nice. Um, like he's trying to, I think, give a little background on Thomas. I think he's um trying to become like he wanted to be a healer, but that was like he was not a good enough student to be a healer, and so now he's like trying to figure out what else he can do, like working at saint mungo's but like not actually like doing it he just he just wants to help people so like he's people. yeah he's just trying to figure stuff out and so like lily like in her spare time is like trying to help him figure out what jobs might be good for him and stuff like they're, it's cute um but yeah so james is kind of really jealous of the time that she's spending with him and like thomas is super nice He's not really friends with James. I, why, why am I repeating myself? I wrote this late at night, so don't worry he's about it. He's just really not friends with James, is what I'm hearing. He's just really, he's really not friends with James. Um, and suddenly, James, in his insecurity here, is, like, wondering if, like, <laughs> he's never had, like, I don't know. Anyway, he starts wondering if, like, they're talking about him behind his back when they're, like, alone together. Wow. He's never even, like, considered that with anybody before because he's like, if they're talking about me, they're saying good things. And now he's like, what if they're not? Like, he's experiencing all this stuff that, like, everybody experiences in, like, middle school for the first time as a 17 year Oh my gosh. James. <laughs> yeah. So he's, like, suddenly all insecure. So yeah. Just, it's just giving you a little, a little bit of an update on that. But once he's, like, aware of it, it's better, you know? Like, this doesn't last for a super long time. Like, he he's still always a little bit jealous, but, like, once Sirius kind of talked with him about it, he's like, oh, yeah, and, like, kind of kind of gets, gets it together. Um, but, yeah, and he's just, like... And it helped him, like, see that, like, um, Thomas was really helping Lily um, and just, That's like... what we want know, right now, James. I know, and so he's, like, you know, it works out, and she's, like... She's starting to kind of, she's not like out of mourning, but she's starting to feel better. She's, you know, doing some stuff. It's been like six weeks since it all happened. So, you know, time has passed and everything. And she's like, you know, starting to laugh and stuff like that. And it doesn't seem like she's like forcing it or anything. Like she's getting back to herself a little bit. Um. So, yeah, so that's kind of the update on on James and stuff. Um. So now we're going to jump to Julie a little bit. Um. So Julie is hanging out with, um, so, okay, yeah, when she, like, kind of became better friends with Lily, you know, it kind of seems like, oh, like, maybe she'll hang out with the Marauders a little bit more, but she doesn't really at first. Um, yeah. It takes a little I bit. Wouldn't, I wouldn't want to if I was Julie, really. Like, well, I feel like that would just be kind of awkward. Well, it is a little awkward, and then also the whole thing with Lily. So anyway, it just takes a little while, but I think it does happen. Um... So, like, about six or seven weeks after Lily's parents died. We should, like, make that a time. We should, like, say... <laughs> we should, like, mark it with something else because I'm tired of saying after her parents died. Uh, <laughs> what? You just say, like, week six AD. Lily's parents were Christ, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I guess week seven AD, um, <laughs> they, uh, so she starts hanging out with the boys a little bit in like the prefect common rooms going to, I think, okay, I think there's random seventh year parties that are like held in secret around the castle that Lily and James like pretend aren't happening, like even while they're attending, you know? <laughs> um, what so party? Yeah, they're like, hey guys, remember to not hold secret parties as they're like going to the parties. I don't hold think a secret like... party. <laughs> James definitely also helped plan like a good amount of them. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's just 
but anyway so I think they they have some fun doing that um and Julie kind of starts tagging along with them and you know things are good um except for Peter she, let's say she's not bestie <laughs> I wonder why mm, almost like they dated but um but yeah but besides that she's like getting along really good with like Remus and by extension Sirius and so you know things are great um, and then she starts hanging out, like, a lot with, like, Sirius and Remus, and they're just having a great time. And then one day she pulls Sirius aside, and she's like, hey, I want some advice, but I would appreciate it if you keep it a little quiet, because it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> and Sirius is like, okay, like, yeah, go for it, I'll try my best. So she's like, oh, okay, so this is a little weird, but I, I would just ask Lily, but she would never let me live it down. So since you're his best friend and everything, wanted to ask you, and he's thinking to himself, he's like, okay, so something's up with James, so let's see what's what's going on. And she's like, frankly, I just, I'm really into Remus. <laughs> no. <sighs> and, and Sirius is like, huh? <laughs> um, and so she like sees his face and she's like, I know, I know, I just... I know we're pretty different, but I feel like we could totally hit it off. Um, and she's like, I mean, we kind of already do get along, like, really well. I just need some advice on, you know, how to, like, take it up a notch, you know, let him know that oh, I'm Julie. interested. Oh. <laughs> and so Sirius is like, hmm. Uh, so he's like, hold on. He's like, you want my advice on how to date Remus? And she's like, yeah, kind of. I mean, like, I figure you would know. <laughs> right person like <laughs> she really did um so yeah so Sirius's brain is like not working and he's like oh my gosh nobody told Julie <laughs> you know and he's like <laughs> was not on his radar at all and so he's like but the thing is is that he and Remus like agreed to never tell anybody unless like they were both on board and so they haven't had this talk about Julie yet so he, in his mind, he's like, I can't even tell her. He's just like, hmm, uh, actually, about that. And she's like, what? And he's like, personally, I don't think you should go for it. And she's like, why not? And he's like, well, here's the thing. Um, I, I just happen to know that like he wouldn't, wouldn't really be interested. And she's like, oh my gosh, has he like already talked about me? And Sirius is like, no, no, like, I, not, he, he thinks you're a great friend and, like, all that. I just, um, he's, he's taken, actually. And she's like, what? And he's like, yeah. She's like, okay, never heard him talk about a girlfriend. And he's like, hmm, pretty, pri he's, he's a little bit private about that, I'm not gonna lie. And she's like, okay, this kind of sounds fake, and Sirius is like, yeah, this definitely sounds fake, um, but he's like, let me tell you, tell you what, I'll just, I'll talk to him about it, I mean, like, not tell him everything, but, like, you know, see what maybe the current situation is, and, like, I'll come back and let you know, and she's like, okay, perfect, that's Sirius great. Is like, yeah, I like Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Would love that um but yeah so so she's like perfect and she's like thank you so much serious i think this could really be great for us <laughs> yeah um so remus and serious later that night um serious tells remus and remus laughs like so hard and he's like why didn't you tell her we were dating serious is like I don't know. I thought we had to talk about it and agree first. And Remus is like, okay, like, I appreciate that. But, like, you should have just told her. Like, please. Why would you, like, drag it out? And Sirius is like, okay, like, it's not that bad. I can just tell her now if you're okay with it. And he's like, no, because now you're going to have to explain not only, like, why... You're not going to have to explain the situation, but also explain, like, why you waited and why you were so awkward and didn't just tell her. And he's like, it's going to be worse. And Sirius is like, oh shoot, it is going to be worse and it's going to be so awkward. But Sirius is like, okay, solution. You tell her. Like, you just go up and be like, hey, I heard you like me. Sorry, I'm gay. Like, that's it. All it has to be. Um, and also, I'm dating Sirius. But, um... Oh, by the way. Yeah, but Remus is like, nope, this is between you and her. Like, I'm not... He's, this is not my he's like, I'm, he's like she, she had this conversation with you. 
Um, so you're gonna you're gonna finish this conversation. Um, and Sirius is like, okay, compromise, let's do it together. And Remus is like, no, I said you're doing it yourself. I'm different. <laughs> um so yeah, so things continue after that. Um, and Sirius is like trying to find like a good private time to tell Julie, but Julie is not helping at all. They're like only hanging out in big groups, and then she'll like whisper to him and be like, Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And Sirius is like why um i'm curious Sirius is like yeah he is he is cute yeah yeah you picking up on it you picking up <laughs> um but no so yeah he tries to hint he's so yeah so he just decides he's like it is so awkward i really just don't want to tell her because like we already had that conversation where i didn't tell her and so now it's making it more awkward so anyway so he just he kind of avoids it more it awkward while. Oh, yeah, for sure. But he doesn't see it that way. So anyway, so he's like, I'm just going to avoid her, see if it goes away. It doesn't. So then he's like, okay, I'm just going to, me and Remus are just going to start acting normal around her and, like, she'll pick up on it. Um, Remus doesn't let that happen. <laughs> like, Sirius will go and, like, try and, like, put his arm around it. And Remus is like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and it's just, like, so weird about it. He's like, I have no, like, why? <laughs> um. So yeah, no, things aren't going great. Um, but yeah, so it, it's not going great because A, Julie is so interested in Remus. I don't know why I said A, this is the only bullet point. But yeah, but Julie's so interested in Remus that she only sees like what she wants to see. And so she doesn't notice anything else anyway. It's pretty bad. Um, finally, <laughs> finally, Julie actually pulls Sirius aside and is like, okay, so any updates? Like you haven't like told me anything like what's the sitch <laughs> and uh remus is like or not remus serious is like hmm so about that um he he, he is dating someone you do like, it okay uh -huh. <laughs> he's like psych took your man um anyway <laughs> but he's like She's like, have, I literally haven't seen him hang out with anybody except for you. So, like, he can't be dating someone. And Sirius is like, that's the so point. He, so he definitely is. And she's like, who? And he's like, me, actually. And she's like, ha, like, very funny. <laughs> that's a good one, Sirius. And then he's like, and she's like, oh, no. <laughs> And she's like, she's like, wait, and he's like, uh huh. And she's like, screw you, Siri. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And yeah. she's like, you let me go on and on about this. And he's like, yeah, I'm really sorry. I didn't know how to deal with it. All our friends have known since forever, and we just kind of forgot to tell you. <laughs> oh my and gosh. She's like, she's like, so you guys have been dating? He's like, yeah, for like a year now. She's like, she's she's not having a great time but she's actually like it's kind of chill with it but um but yeah she's like love that love like, that James I just is single still yeah <laughs> he's like actually trying to get James over Lily so like go for him you know <laughs> um yeah but anyway so kind of great but it's actually kind of a fun bonding experience I feel like after that like she and Sirius were kind of like really good friends um, and she's always like, you know, just don't lie to me about something like that again, you know. Um, but of course, as soon as they leave, like, wherever, like, they were to talk about this, they see Remus. And Remus, like, gives Sirius a big hug and is like, oh my gosh, love you, my boyfriend. <laughs> my wonderful boyfriend, Sirius Black. And she's like, y'all couldn't have done this, like, earlier. Would have been so helpful. And Sirius is like, yeah, same. Like, I did my best. He did not yeah. his best. He did his best to get to get Remus to act like that, but okay. anyway. But they are having a solid good time. Like Lily's been okay, actually. You know, so for a while after meeting Thomas, she pretty much just like hung out with him. Um, like she just kind of needed that, and just needed to to be with someone who mm -hmm. kind of understood everything. But now she's kind of going back to hanging out with everyone, and it's pretty good, you know. 
Um, but yeah, so she started hanging out with everybody, especially James. Um, and she and him have like a lot of stuff to do because they're both head boy and girl, as we know. And those head boy and girl duties are like no joke. Um, so they took a lot of time and like planning. Um, and James has actually gotten pretty good at like leading the meetings and stuff, but he also had so much Quidditch stuff as well because this man is also yeah. Quidditch captain. Um, and so, but yeah, so Lily had kind of figured that, so anyway, so Lily takes on more, like, of the leadership stuff for Head Boy and Girl because he's also Quidditch captain. But Lily had kind of figured that, like, managing the prefects would kind of be, like, low stress because she never really had to go and talk to the prefects as, like, you know, when she was a pre- or to, she never had to go and talk to Head Boy and Girl when she was a prefect. Um, but she she learns that she, very quickly that like she was the exception to that because like people come to the head boy and girl like the prefects are just like yo like what is going on here and like kind of figure like want them to deal with their problems and she's like we were allowed to do that anyway um but they're just kind of coming to her with like with their problems or for like suggestions on how to deal with stuff and it's like it's pretty tough sometimes like especially when prefects like want to punish like kids for doing things that Lily and James both regularly do. Um, like, sneaking mm-hmm. out, using invisibility clothes, <laughs> um, stuff like that that is definitely against the rules. Um, but yeah, so a lot of these prefects, like, followed the rules, like, to a T, um, but they didn't, and so now they're like, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Um, but like, I think James that- is head boy, like, I understand the, what was behind it, but, like, really? I know, exactly. Like, man's was a little weird. But, um, so I think that they ended up, I think this is my own just little thing here. There's nothing in the books that says this. But I think, like, for some of the more basic rules, like, you know, getting caught out of bed or, like, something like that, that isn't, like, that prefects deal with and isn't, like, a professor thing, I think head boy and girl kind of set what the point, how much you're allowed to, like, dock points for stuff like that. Um, and so I think the typical one for, like, getting caught out of, you know, out of bed at night past curfew was usually, like, 20 points. But Lily and James were like, yeah, five seems good. And all of the prefects were like, five? They're like, five. And they're like, yeah, like, that seems like a reasonable amount. And they're like, so anyway, just, they, don't, they just don't take things as seriously as some of the other prefects think that they should. But, like, I feel like it... So I feel like that caused, like, a little drama, but it wasn't, like, actually any anything. Like, mm-hmm. the prefects were kind of like, okay, like, it's fine. It's their way that they run things. But, like, I'm sure Bradley, who's, like, not even doing anything, like, hears about it and, like, goes off on a rant, you know. We hate Bradley. Not Bradley. Um, yeah. But Rima stayed a prefect for the entire year. <laughs> um, no, but I think, I think that he... I. I might have said this before, but I think I changed my mind. I don't think he ever did prefect rounds again. I think he was like, I hated doing prefect rounds. It's not happening unless you let Sirius come with me. I'm not doing it. And they were like, okay, you can't take Sirius with you. Um, And so he didn't do it, but he's like helped out with everything else. Like he went to all the meetings, like just helped them out, did everything like that. Um, But yeah. Uh, But yeah, so through all the head boy and girl stuff, though, Lily and James began to, like, kind of hit the same groove that they did, like, in the summer. So, like, they're studying together. They're laughing Mm -hmm. about, like, all the different issues that the first years are going through. Because the first years this year, the first years this year are a trip, okay? Like, they just have so much drama. And, like, all of the prefects are coming to them and being, like, freaking, I don't know. Calm down. Go, like, play Uno or something. (laughs) Exactly. But they're like, yeah, um, so-and-so told so-and-so the story about Jeffrey, and somebody claimed it was a lie, and now there's, like, a fight planned for tomorrow. Like, something like that. I mean, James <laughs> is the, probably the one fighting that kid. <laughs> He's like, Jeffrey was real. <laughs> um, but no, they just kind of always had random drama and stuff to, to deal, deal with. Um, and so, you know, they're mostly just talking through all of that. Like, Lily and James are just like, okay, like, here's how we're going to deal with this. And it's all pretty much normal. It's all pretty much how James expected it to be. But for one part. The one part is that Thomas is always there. Um, not always, but most of the time. 
like if they're just like kind of having like a casual like not really a meeting but they're like both like in the prefect common room or like you know james has to go and see lily for something to talk about it thomas is always there and james is just james kind of feels awkward about that he's like i wouldn't bring like ramus here but like i guess thomas is here now like i don't know anyway so james has to get used to the fact that like sometimes when they're talking through all this stuff and they're doing all their stuff like thomas is just on the couch um and it's weird for him um but yeah so one day like a couple of weeks after Sirius like had talked with James um like about the whole Lily thing and he was like don't be jealous I don't know uh, um <laughs> Lily and James are talking about like different stuff and they're talking about first years man these first years uh, so the drama is getting less humorous and more like legit and like people are arguing and people are threatening to have duels and they're 11. They're like 11. Literally. They have no idea what they're doing but they're like you know what we're gonna fight and it's like why? Um, and it's over like stupid what stuff. What they do? Just... They can like make someone slightly float. Like isn't this only like a bit into school? Literally. They're like week three of school. No they're not. They're like month two into school. It's like not. No. They have no idea what they're doing, but they're like, we're going to fight. And if it means punch, punch, it means punch, punch, you know? Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so they're talking because basically like the previous week, one of the Ravenclaw prefects had to like break up like 15 kids oh my gosh. that were just like, that were just like out after hours and like looked like they were going to fight. And so like they actually gave them 20 points because it looked like something was going to happen but none of them said anything like they're all like no like we weren't doing anything and it's just like what the heck is happening with these first years they're like this is not like normal um and so it's a little stressful so you know 15 small children each got 20 points taken from them which is like kind of a big deal so that's they're like we got a lot of points yeah that's a lot of points from and they were all from like different houses so it's not like it was all in one house but still um so Lily and James are like, okay, we got to figure this out. And so they've just been talking forever. And Lily's just like, eventually she's just like, I wish there was just a way to get them to just like, be nice. Like, just be nice to each other. Because if this is how they are now, in the first year, she's like, James, the school is becoming so divided. Like, anyway, with people trying to choose sides of the war, like, we can't have the first year kids be like this already. Like, we got to do something. Um... And James is like, I know we have to do something, but I have no idea what. We can't just force people to be friends with each other. Like, that's just not how it works. Um, and they've been going back and forth with this for, like, hours. And then suddenly Thomas, who's just been, like, chilling on the couch, is like, yeah, well, no, not exactly. You can't really, like, force people to become friends, but you can certainly help it. Like, and James, you're, like, really good at that stuff. And um, <laughs> James was like, What? And he's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Like, I can go back to, like, I don't know what Thomas was doing, but he's just chilling. Um, so just sitting there. He's just staring at the wall. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's like, I didn't mean to interrupt. And then James is like, no, like, you can say what you want to say. Like, we haven't got really gotten anywhere. Um, but And so Thomas was like, okay, I mean, like, you and your friends did that thing a couple of years ago with, like, the first years when you were, like, fifth years or whatever. Um, and he's like, um, you did that thing uh, with, like, the bloody handprint or whatever with, like, all of your friends. And, like, they did this mm -hmm. stuff and they, like, he's like, you know that everybody who did that are, like, best friends now, right? And yes, James is like, I love the bloody handprint. I know, so do I. Um, and James is like... No, like they they would have been friends anyway, though. And he's like, I don't, I don't think so. He's like, especially like when they were that young. Like, think about it. Like, first years do not just have a place to like hang out with each other, you know. So like, you forced them all to hang out, even just that one time, and then like people became friends, you know. And then people wanted to sit with each other. He's like, you look at these first years right now, they're just making fun of each other because they don't know each other. Like, they all sit just with their houses. And they all, like, don't really know each other, and they have no place to do that. They can't go to Hogsmeade yet. Um, and so what do they do? They stay in their own places, and then they talk, they trash talk other people, because it's fun. <laughs> um, and Lily's like, 
yeah that's kind of facts though and james is like okay listen he's like bloody handprint stroke of genius though i can't just recreate that it's not gonna happen again (laughs) and thomas is like he's like i don't think you have to i just think they just like need a space where they can like meet each other um and lily's like 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 a common room and he's like yeah like just for the first year something that like makes them like feel like they have their own special spot and james is like that could work he's like okay but i don't think right now putting all those fighting children together in one spot is Mm -hmm. like gonna be helpful um (laughs) and so lily's like yeah i don't know he's like maybe we could like work up to that like work up to having a common room for them but she's like um but she's like, but we should do something together. Maybe we could, like, talk to Minerva and, like, figure out if we can get them, like, a tour of Hogsmeade, like, a well-supervised one, so that they can, like, see it and feel, like, all special. And James is like, oh my gosh, yes, they would, like, love that. I would have loved that as a kid. And he's like, or we could have, like, the common room, like, have, like, a purpose. Like, we could have Bayfax volunteer to have them, to help them study there. And so, like, they have a reason to go. And suddenly, like, Lily and James are just coming up with, like, tons and tons of ideas. And it's, like, great. Um, and Thomas just sits back and he's like, yep, I did that. Um, but yeah, he's, I feel like Thomas is just really good at figuring out like what the actual like root of an issue is. Like he doesn't just look at like the, what's happening. He's like, okay, what's causing that? And so he's like, yeah, they just don't get to meet mm-hmm. each other. Um, we love Thomas. Um, so yeah, so he's like, he's having a good time. So anyway, Lily and Jay's finally get all of the ideas fleshed out. And they make plans to go to McGonagall the next day to, like, see what they could actually, like, reasonably do. Um, and then, you know, but James is about to leave. But before he leaves, James, like, makes himself, like, stop and, like, thank Thomas. He's like, you know, I wouldn't have been able to think of that myself. Um, and Thomas is like, no, you're, like, so good at that. You would have gotten there eventually. <laughs> He's like, you just need to know, like, what the problem was. And then, like, you know, you guys, you guys will figure out how to make all those first year's best besties. And Thomas is just like that. Like, he's just not afraid to, like, compliment I'm people. I love Thomas. I know. I love Thomas, too. Um, He's just so nice. But, yeah. So, James is, like, having this thing where he's, like, it's so hard to, like, dislike Thomas. Like, so hard. But then also, he's, like, still... It's also really easy for James to be jealous of Thomas. So, he's just, like, <clears throat> thanks, Thomas. <laughs> you know? But, you know, so he's like, thank you, and he just kind of moves on. Um, all right, so first year common room passed Minerva's approval with, like, flying colors. Um, she's like, yes, absolutely, let's do this. So they go and they find, like, an empty classroom that's, like, pretty big, and they, like, decorate it and, like, make it super comfy and cozy, like, a place where people wanted to hang out. Um, and then they, like, make all these... They, like, are, like, okay, we gotta, like, put in, like, f- like food here and, like, games and, like, places to rest and, like, just make sure that people want to be there. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's, like, great. And so then, like, for the first day, Lily and James play- planned, like, a almost like a get-to-know-you type of thing, um, but it, like, still had, like, a purpose. Kind of, kind of like the bloody handprint extravaganza where, like, they kind of had to go around and, like, find Like things. a little scavenger hunt. Yeah, something like that, where they kind of all had to work together, and they made that first one required, but by the end of it, like, it was okay, like, it, it was a success, things were great. Um, probably, probably involved sand, um, I don't know. <laughs> of course, yeah. You gotta, you gotta have that. Um, but yeah, so Lily and ja- James ran, like, the day together, and soon, like, every single first year, like, loves them both. Like, they're all just, like, Lily and James are so cool. Like, all the guys want to be, like, James. All the girls want to be, like, Lily. Um, except for that one girl who, like, who James tried to comfort that, like, first day. She still doesn't like James. She's like, I'm not too sure about James. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, man. He said my parents, like, were really sad. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, they all had a great time. Like, I think they, like, spent, like, a whole Saturday doing stuff, you know? Um... And so, and, you know, they said, okay, if you guys, like, you know, don't, like, abuse having this common room, then you can, like, come here and we can, like, set up study things so you can, like, feel more confident in your classes. You guys can hang out here, blah, blah, blah. Um, And so they're like, okay. That's such a good Um, idea. I know. I thought, yeah, I would love having something like that. Um, But anyway, so... 
uh oh yeah so at the request of all the first years though they're like can we like do something else like this like they want another activity to do and so they decide to have like a monthly one um where like all the first years get together with lily and james and they just like plan something um and it's not like required like this one was but like everyone's everyone in first year is allowed um but yeah so it's a great success we love it um was everyone like friends with each other no but like the fighting levels go like way down and like, like they're getting you know, there yeah and like kids are like starting to talk to each other more and, and stuff like that um and even some of the like second and third years hear about it and they're like can, can we like go to this place can we go um, one of those? <laughs> yeah and lily and james are like the room should be for the first years because they need something to feel special but like you guys can't come to the activities Anyway, um, I think it's great. Yeah, and Thomas helps out a little bunch too. And James and James and Thomas start to get along like pretty good in spite of really not having a lot in common. Um, but you know, Thomas is still just friends with Lily and and that pretty much that. And James is, you know, getting pretty used to that. Um so one night James is like chilling in the prefect common room. It's pretty late. Lily isn't back yet from like wherever she is. Um but James, like, I think this is probably, like, a week after the whole room thing started. And so it's been, like, another Saturday. And James just went and did all of his homework in, like, the first year common room. And, like, just had a blast with, like, all of these random kids just coming up and, like, telling him random things and stuff like that. Um, I just put this in your essay. And they told him, like, the most, like, factually incorrect thing. And he's like, okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he just had a great time. Um, but the kids have suggested like so many ideas for like what their next thing should be and he's like I gotta tell Lily so he's like waiting for her to come back and so then she finally does and as soon as she walks in he's like yo okay Henry that little man um he's like Henry. he is he's a beast with the creative ideas he wanted to see like get this the shrieking shack now obviously we can't do that but it got me thinking we should do like a haunted house where we like invite all the ghosts and like get them to be involved yes. and like put on like a show and like do all this stuff. And he's like so excited about this and Lily's like not really responding. And he's like, okay, this is really exciting. So like clearly something's wrong. What's wrong? Um, so he's like, you gotta be paying attention to this. Um, and she's like, nothing. And James is like, okay, so something probably with her parents. Um, so he's like, I'm gonna dip then. Because he's like, do you want me to leave? Like, I can just tell you about this tomorrow. Like, I wrote it all down and everything. I just, you know, if you're if you're not great, then I'll just go. And she's like, yeah, that would probably be good. So James starts packing up, you know. He's like, yeah, it was late. She's tired. You know, all this stuff has happened. You know, he's just got to give her space. Um, But then he catches her eye. And she looks a little bit more stressed than sad. And so he kind of stops and he's like, are you sure you don't want to? talk about it like you know you know you, you know you can tell me anything and she doesn't answer and so james is like okay like i'll just go you know and he's almost at the door and then lily's like i just don't know what to do and he turns around and he's like about what and so she finally meets his eye and she's like thomas kissed me and james is like it hits james way harder than he was expecting it to like he had kind of seen this coming you know others had seen it coming everybody was talking about it and everything and it's still he was just like oh man why does that hurt um but he's just like did did you want him to though um and she's like yeah like i think so um and he's like okay what's the issue <laughs> like a little confused um, and she doesn't speak for a second, and then she's like, it's just, it's too soon, isn't it? And James is like, too soon? And she's like, they only died, like, two months ago. And he's like, okay, I don't think there's a timeline for when you're allowed to kiss someone after your parents die. Like, just, just throwing that out there. And she, like, kind of smiles, and she's like, yeah, you know, kind of sounds like something that Thomas would say. But still, she, like, doesn't really answer. So anyway, James comes back into the room and, like, sits on the opposite side of the couch where she was um and she's like he wants to like date and like do all that stuff and he's like do you want to and she's like yeah and he's like do you want to just because he helped you with your parents and she's like no i don't like i like him in spite of all of that like honestly it was really a not fun way to meet someone and become friends but like now that it happened he just understands me he's like just he's just really great he's just a great person 
Uh-huh. And she's like, I like him like a lot, actually, more than I like think I should like this close after my parents are gone. But like, I don't know if I should actually date him. And so they just kind of sit there for a while. And then after a while, James was like, I think you should. Um, and she just looks at James and like part of her expects him to like, she kind of like a part of her expected him to be like, listing off all these secret reasons of why Thomas was like secretly a horrible person or something or like wanted it to she's like part of that like wanted that to happen for some reason um and then part of her realized in that part of her mo realized in that moment that the reason that she had pulled away from Thomas just a few minutes before was because he wasn't James but does that happen really mm. not really anyway um but she's so she's just like you do and he's like yeah thomas is a great guy he's really good to you and if you like him i think you should date him um and lily just kind of looks off and is just deep in thought and so james is like all right i'll leave you to it then and he just dips and lily doesn't really even realize that he's gone until like the door closes in the episode james is so nice he can I be know. like he can be an idiot sometimes, but he's just really nice. I know. Hi, Snuffles. Do we sleep the whole time? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Snuffles. He's such a sweetie. But yeah. Thomas and <sighs> Lily. Sitting in a tree. I'm just glad it was as sad. Oh yeah, no. We're not we're we're out of the sad era pretty much. Like it's not just like going to go away, but like, you know, it's not going to be all sad all the time like it was for a while. I love Julie though. <laughs> I know. I love her so much. <sighs> I like I like her being like a part of part of the gang. But yeah, I really I realized I was going to have one of the other girls like that are like rooming with Lily kind of had that plot line with like liking Remus and stuff, but I felt like it had to be Julie because it would be so funny if she like kind of made her way through liking like everybody in the group by accident. <laughs> but yeah. Hi, baby. She's just looking at me. She's like, it's dinner time. Do you know that? It's time to eat. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I feel like college is this. Weird. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. It is so weird. But it still hasn't, like, even started yet, either. I know! Us. That's the thing. Like, I don't know. But even just moving in and stuff. Um, It's been weird, but it's been good. Like, Snuffles, Snuffles actually really likes it here. Like, That's good. She likes always going out for all these different walks. and She, she really would doesn't... love all the walking. Oh, yes, yeah, she would. Um, and also, like, she is normally so excited when she meets people, and now she's, like, kind of excited, but not, like, insane, like how she was when you would meet her and stuff. Um, so, you know, I think, I think it's good. You know, we take her out. I have, like, this huge grassy area right outside my dorm. Um, That's so good. I just let her, like, I have, like, a 30, a 30 foot long leash, and I just let her play fetch and stuff like that and it's been really nice um yeah and there's a service dog who lives next door to us it's it was not another emotional support dog it's actually a service dog um and it's super cute but it is so funny they have like the same coloring except the service dog is an australian shepherd um but they are just like polar opposites because the service dog is like smart um and like can do things like that and snuffles can do stuff too but um but that service dog like there are even some i met this service dog like off duty and stuff still doesn't want to interact with people at all like it's just like i'm here to do my job and my job is not to snuggle with humans and then i have her all she does is want to snuggle with that humans. is her job i know and so it's it's been kind of funny because her handler um, like the girl who has a service dog has like come over here just to snuggle with my dog because she's like I have a dog but she does not like to do this and I miss my other dogs at home so it's been she's provided many people with comfort like several people have come to the suite to be like can we meet the dog 
so it's been nice. But yeah, have you like, I don't know, because you already know your roommate, obviously, Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> we love Kristen. Believe it or um, not, she's heard of the podcast. Whoa. <laughs> Kristen should come and say hi. hi. Yeah. Do you want to? To what? Do you want to like say hi? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody meet Kristen. She's even wearing her Hogwarts pants. Oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Hi. We love Kristen. Yeah. yeah thanks. Love you guys, mm-hmm. too. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I don't have much, like, else to say. I know. I feel like so, mu- so much has happened, but, like, it's not really stuff to talk about, you know? Yeah. I I've, like, know. made, like, a few friends. But, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. They don't know. (laughs) Nobody knows about the podcast. (laughs) I literally only told my roommates today, and I really like all my roommates. So, (laughs) it was hard. I did tell random people in my orientation group. uh, Because I was like, you know what, I may as well tell, like, one person here. Because we were talking about TikTok and stuff like that anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Uh thank you so much for watching and listening. I really appreciate it. Uh thank you so much for dealing with all of this weird stuff. Hopefully I'll have a better setup this time. I set up while on the call with Emma today. Mm-hmm. So like hopefully I'll figure things out better. Um I won't just have a plane wall behind me because I have all my other stuff the other direction. I just didn't set that way. So anyway, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I hope the audio quality is good. If it's not, I'll figure out how to fix it and make it better next time. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout out to Benji Wilson and um, Mental Mathis for the music and cover art. And yeah, bye!